With the first two movies in this series, John Krasinski established a world where the slightest sound alerts some monstrous aliens, and that created a lot of tension as we watch people try to survive. For this prequel, A Quiet Place Day One, Michael Cernoski now handles the directing and writing duties and shows complete understanding for what makes these films so appealing. While the high points do come from the suspenseful scenes, he also develops his characters in such a way that we grow concerned for them, and those human moments are what help take this beyond a typical alien invasion movie. It's another example of what makes this franchise so enthralling. Because we know aliens are eventually going to show up and cause destruction, Sonofsky makes sure we do become sympathetic towards the characters about to hide for their lives. The film does not tell us a lot of information about Lupita Nyong'o's Sam up front, but her attitude and the way she conducts herself provides enough intrigue, and the script is able to eventually piece things together in a way that's effective. Nyong'o delivers a strong performance, giving us the needed empathy for Sam. Her dynamic with Alex Wolf is also well portrayed by both actors, giving a sense of the history between these two. Sonofsky gives her a solid arc of motivation, one rooted in that simple desire we all have, and showcases her need for something joyful as the world crumbles around her. Her cat Frodo becomes a major scene stealer with several scenes where he's the focus and we just follow him around the city streets. When Joseph Quinn enters the picture, he provides solid support and the friendship that grows between Eric and Sam is believably done as they figure out the best way to get through this ordeal. Much like Krasinski did in the first two Quiet Place movies, Sonofsky makes excellent use of sound to create tension. These films excel so much in showing the characters trying desperately hard to quietly make their way to their needed destination. In this case, the city environment is used to great effect as the aliens crawl over buildings and one cannot help but look at the corners of the screen to see if they might be lurking somewhere. The action set pieces are directed with the necessary excitement, but they succeed in providing thrills precisely because of how well developed the characters are. There are only a few times in day one where the movie goes for the typical horror trick, but these are thankfully short-lived moments. A Quiet Place has truly become one of those horror film franchises that makes great use of its premise. These movies have an understanding of how to use visual language to tell their story and explore the caution taken by the characters trying to navigate the aliens that have crashed to Earth. For day one, it takes advantage of the change in setting to go to some interesting places and provide the proper level of tension. There's a strong balance of action sequences, and the scenes focus on developing the characters and gaining an understanding for the decisions they make. The initial concept by Scott Beck and Brian Woods was such an inspired one, and has resulted in a series of films that creates a thrill out of the central characters, the aliens that could appear at any moment, and our knowledge of how unavoidable noise unfortunately is.